split to each side with Fond in the shotgun. Four-man rush coming. Swings it out the right flat. Flores with a nice move. Got a defender to fall down. Gets to the sideline and run out of bounds behind a block from Britton Golden. Gets inside the 20 down to the 18-yard line. line. With the snap, pressure coming. Rifles it down the middle. Caught, and Trevor Hammergren hauls it in and just got a glancing blow or goes down, and he might have scored on the two. Hampton, the running back, gets the handoff straight ahead and plows into the end zone for the touchdown. That's the third rushing touchdown of the year for Tommy Hampton. And Wesley Wood, who's in the shotgun. Bus rush for Wood with time. Flares it out to Thomas in the right flat. Hit just as he crosses midfield on a nice open field tackle for West Texas by Dwight Morrison. With this wide open blitz coming. Fumble snap. Wood retreats, picks it up, and gets sacked. As it's going to be Kevin McCluskey on the blitz. We'll get credit for that sack. Yes. For the shotgun. Buffs rush four on the blitz. Or rather five now. Swings out right flat. Thomas on the running back out in the right flat. And he is hammered. Again, Curtis Slater is there along with Dwight Morrison. Yep. Vaughn fakes the handoff to throw from the end zone. Steps up. Heaves it deep for Ratliff down the right side. He's got it. And down and across the 40. Down around the 38-yard line. Ratliff had to wait on it a little bit. Or he might have scored as he got behind Keith Davis. Hard line. Vaughn out of the shotgun. Handoff. Flores right side. Picks up the first and gets popped. And then struggles forward inside the 10. And there's a surge. And he's somewhere in the pile inside the 10 down around the 7. Well, Plus wide gaps. Give is to Valenzuela. And closing quickly, the linebacker, Taylor McCuller. No, it's Curtis Slater again coming up on the hit. Play clock down to 1 just as he gets the snap. Blitz coming. Wood is going to get sacked. As he goes down, Anthony uh, Scott is there for the Buffaloes to get his second sack of the season. Well, the bus with six defensive backs. Anthony Scott was lined up on the far side and then just side of the midfield strike. Stunt coming. Wood throws with time. Going deep down the left side. A jump ball, and it's knocked down by Maurice Caldwell. He was giving up some size to the intended receiver, Cody Blocker. I don't know. That's three times they've gone at Maurice tonight, and three times he's turned him away. And Maurice is upset because he didn't have the interception. He just timed it perfectly. He just couldn't get up as high as he needed to for the interception. So back in the punt for Eastern New Mexico is going to be blitz. They'll bring five. Vaughn, quick slant, caught Golden from the right to the left side. He's down to the races. Britton Golden may break, take it to the house. Trying to score from 94 yards out. He's being chased to the 20. Cuts it back right. Touchdown, Buffaloes. A 94-yard touchdown pass to Britton Golden. Well, he was the hot receiver on that one. You talked about the blitz coming in, and so he was the hot target. Just slashes over the middle, pulls that one in, and then it's a foot race from there. It looked like a couple of Eastern players were going to get to him, but then he just changes his angle, pulls away from him, and gets in for the score. And He's probably still fuming from a few weeks ago when he had three called back, so he was ready for one to break loose. Yeah, nice long one for Britton Golden, his fifth touchdown catch of the season. Junior quarterback of the mule shoe takes the snap, gives it to Thomas, running left, and has the first down out to the 33-yard line, had to sidestep a defender. I think Hatton was in the backfield early. Thomas on the right side. Vaughn looking left, those underneath, it's caught. Nathan Slaughter at the 20 and struggles forward just enough for the first down to the 25-yard line. Yeah, Jim. Wants a quick underneath and caught. Jeremy Watson, he may go all the way as the defender might have played on the ball, missed it, and Watson is going to go all the way for the 67-yard touchdown reception. Well, again, hot read quickly to Watson, and a corner had the coverage, and once he was by the corner, there was nowhere, or excuse me, the safety had the coverage, and once he was by the safety, nobody was back, and then it becomes a foot race, and Jeremy was in no way, shape, or form going to lose that race. Watson. Vaughn looks right, flushed, scrambles, not going to pick up the first down. Well, maybe he does as he spins out of the tackle and has it, and the tackler tries to strip him as he goes down to the 29-yard line. Go two tight ends, play fake, Vaughn. Steps, heaves deep, looking for Ratliff, streaking down the right side. Got it! And Lance Ratliff going to score for the second time tonight. 71 yards as Vaughn heaves it up. They were hand-checking. Now the defensive back, Keith Davis, comes back to talk it up a little with Ratliff. And he's pleading his case. Thought it should have been offensive pass interference. And I, I'm not sure why he's pleading because I watched him all the way down. He grabbed a hold of Lance's jersey. I mean, it was as obvious as day. I was looking for the flag. 
and Lance pulls that one. I, you know, credit Lance for keeping his cut line. Wood from the shotgun sets up the screen for Thomas. Got it, but the Buffs run it down, and it looked like it was uh, Rashad Sanders who stayed home and ran down the running back to Corey and Thomas. Yeah, West Texas brings the blitz. Wood scrambled and sacked. It's getting to him first. It's Caleb Randolph. It's Wood from the shotgun. Heavy blitz coming, going deep. It's knocked away by Curtis Slater as the pass was intended for the Greyhounds. Arvick. Second down and two. And again, the draw play. Flores first down across the 20, and he may go. Aaron Flores racing up the sideline the 40, the 30. Greyhounds give chase of the 20, and they'll run him down inside the 10. I think Aaron might have ran a yes. Yes, there. Marsh out of the shotgun. Play fake. Pumps. Scrambles, pumps again, throws to the end zone, caught, touchdown, Nathan Slaughter. Well, that was a slow to develop, but credit Tanner Marsh play because he pumped twice. The shotgun. Gives it to Robinson. He'll have the first down, slips one tackle, spin around. He just will not go down across the 25, the 20, and down near the 20, rather the 16-yard line. Robinson back in it, running back. And he'll get the call. Coming off left 10, 5, Kyrie Robinson, touchdown, Buffaloes. I think Kyrie knew as soon as he touched the football, he was in the end zone and kind of used a pinball move to get in there at the last second as he just has vaulted in and put six points on the scoreboard for the Buffaloes. Six. Cottingham with the kickoff for the Greyhounds. To the goal line, brought out one yard deep. This is Terrence Allen, finds a seam, and Allen straight ahead, bounces off a tackler at the 40 and drawn down from behind at the 50 by Joey Mendez. Six minutes left to play. Big four-man rush. Those other right side, it's a pick six for the Buffaloes. Is heading the other way, all the way back. Oh, I called it early, down to the two-yard line. Dwight Morrison, and is that, yeah, Wesley Wood ran him down. What a good hustle by the uh, Eastern New Mexico quarterback. Yeah, frustrated at the interception as he was looking at his target all the way. And, again, he made the extra effort to make the tackle. He was dial. The Jeffrey calls for the ball, gets it down. Castillo's kick is plenty long, and it's good. Well, the Buffs have broken half a hundred with 424 left to play. It's West Texas A&M 52, Greyhounds of Eastern New Mexico 14. Known for the score. That'll be interesting to see if the Greyhounds kick it deep. Buffs were expecting the onside kick, a pooch kick, fielded, and it's going to be run around, and then Aaron Flores will take the knees. The final three seconds have expired, and here comes the rush up to the south end zone to try to claim the wagon wheel as the bus will take it for the sixth consecutive game, again, not sixth consecutive year, as these ball clubs did not meet last year, and the Buffs have claimed the wagon wheel. The six-game winning streak is the longest for any of these ball clubs in this rivalry, as West Texas wins it by the final score of 52 to 21 over Eastern New Mexico. The Buffs now run their season record to five and two, five and one in Lone Star Conference action, and very much in the hunt in Lone Star Conference and in playoff action. They're posing for pictures up on the hill with the wagon wheel. Buffs win it 52-21. to 21.